Bridgers, just north of Bridger Bowl. It's April 17th. We had another really good storm overnight. You can see the new snow here. Foot of new snow, inch and a half of water. So in the past week, or less than a week, the Bridgers have had over six inches of water. I mean, that is just a huge amount of snow. Um, yesterday, it was super warm in the 50s. This storm came in, actually started as rain. We have this really just kind of rotten snow layer, wet. You make a snowball below the new snow. So that's kind of the dynamic of the spring snowpack. Dry snow, wet snow. Uh, but right now the barrel is just loaded in the Bridgers. We have a ton of new snow. We're, we're going to have dry snow avalanches to think about, especially in those high north facing slopes that were wind loaded by uh, southwest winds. Wet snow avalanches are going to be a major concern once it warms up. Cornices along the ridge lines, they're going to get a lot weaker once it warms up. So just a big variety of avalanche problems to think about as we move into spring. And with this really dynamic uh, snow environment, we need to be, you know, careful terrain, careful snowpack assessment, um, good travel protocol. All of those still apply. Um, so you need to treat it like it's a midwinter snowpack. And, you know, there's a ton of skiing left. We're going to be dealing with avalanche problems, you know, for the next couple of months. So just be heads up, play the safe card, and make safe informed decisions uh, when you're out skiing or riding in the backcountry.